Hello there everyone. In today's video, I'll talk about scabies, which is an infestation of the skin by the human itch mite. It is characterized by superficial burrows in the skin, intense itching, and secondary infection. Scabies is caused by the mite Sarcops scabii. What usually happens is that an impregnated female mite burrows into the upper layer of the skin, called the stratum corneum, and lays her eggs along the burrow. The female mite, as it burrows through the skin, it leaves behind a trail of debris, eggs, and feces. The larvae hatch within a few days. How is scabies spread? It is transmitted readily, often throughout an entire household, by skin-to-skin -skin contact with an infected person, especially among people who live close together. It occurs worldwide and affects people of all races and social classes. Scabies epidemics frequently occur in settings like nursing homes, extended care facilities, and prisons. Scabies is often found in the skin folds and narrow cracks of your skin. However, they can infest many parts of the body including folds between the fingers and toes, under fingernails, under rings, watch bands and bracelets, along the insides of the wrists, on the inner elbows, around the waist, on the chest, the area around your nipples and breast creases, around the belly button and the area around your waist, folds in your thighs and genital area, bends of your knees, and the area around the buttocks. What are the signs and symptoms of scabies infestation? The symptoms of scabies may take two to five weeks to manifest after the initial exposure. Those who have already experienced scabies typically experience symptoms one to four days following exposure, sometimes even sooner. Scabies infestation is extremely pruritic or itchy, and notoriously worse at night. Frequently, other family members also complain of itching. Thin, wavy burrows made up of tiny blisters or bumps on the skin can be seen. In infants, the insteps of the feet are commonly affected, often with vesicles or pustules. An important diagnostic clue is an infant vigorously rubbing his or her feet together to relieve itching. What are the different types of scabies? The first type I'll talk about is Norwegian scabies, which is also known as crested scabies. It is a highly contagious form of scabies often seen in immunocompromised, or those with weakened immune system, or debilitated, often institutionalized patients. The patient is infested with large numbers, often thousands to millions of sarcops mites. Norwegian scabies is a particularly severe and highly infectious form of scabies that presents as crusted, hyperkeratotic, scaling plaques, which may be generalized or localized to the hands and feet. They appear as widespread crusts and scales that are thick, gray, and easily crumble when touched. Nodular scabies is the other type. They cause discrete, orange-red nodules that itch, especially around your genitals, armpits, or groin. How is scabies infestation diagnosed? Multiple lesions are vigorously scraped. The best lesions for diagnosis are burrows, vesicles, and non-excoriated papules, and the best scrapings obtain the material underneath the tops and crusts of lesion. The material obtained is then transferred onto a glass slide and examined microscopically under low power. Actively moving mites, eggs, and feces can be found in 60% of patients in whom the diagnosis is strongly suspected. How is scabies treated? The most common method of treating scabies is to use topical prescription creams, lotions, and ointments to eradicate the infestation. The treatment of choice for scabies in adults and children is permethrin 5% cream. Medication should remain on the skin for more than 12 hours, preferably 24 hours, and washed off. Permethrin is applied at bedtime and washed off in the morning. In the case of Norwegian scabies, multiple applications are often necessary. All clothing, bedding, and other items that have been in intimate contact with the patient must be simultaneously washed and thoroughly dry. Precipitated sulfur and petrolatum applied for three successive nights is a safe alternative for children and is the treatment of choice for infants less than two months of age. Papular and pustular skin lesions generally resolve within one week following treatment, although nodular lesions may persist for months. Lindane is a second-line agent for the treatment of scabies and should only be used in patients who have not responded to or cannot tolerate first-line agents. Lindane 1% is not recommended for pregnant or lactating women, children younger than 2 years of age, or individuals with extensive dermatitis. And finally, 25% benzyl benzoate and gamma hexachloride are used for only adults. What are the possible complications from having scabies? Scratching too much can break your skin causing sores. These sores can become infected with bacteria causing septicemia, a bacterial infection of your bloodstream that is often serious. It can also cause impetigo, which is an infection on the skin surface that's caused most often by staph bacteria. Scabies is treatable, but they can be hard to get rid of completely. You may itch for a long period before the scabies are completely gone. Be aware that scabies is spread by contact and take precautions to avoid infecting others. Aim to improve every day and look after yourself as best you can. And that's all for this video. If this video has been helpful, give it a like, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. 
Until next time.